Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do. It is going to be a new ranking video. I do love to post my ranking videos. I have a whole playlist. I will leave that in my description box if you're interested in seeing more. But this is where I take certain categories in my makeup collection and I rank some of the products that are in there. Today's video is going to be all about mascaras and specifically newer to the market mascaras. I have some that are just simply new to me, but the majority of these are uh, like new release mascaras. So I'm really excited. I have 12 different ones, so I'm going to be reviewing all of these and then just putting them in a ranking style from my least favorite mascara to my top favorite mascara. I hope that you find this one helpful, and let's go ahead and get started. All right, I did want to say that I did film this look for my Instagram, which is March Beauty Ward. I'm using a bunch of the products from the Pure and Barbie collection, so it was a lot of fun to do. I, if you're not following me yet on Instagram, I do a lot of my makeup demos and tutorials over there, so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look. The collection did come with a pair of lashes, but I also just have a pair of the Pure Diva lashes in my collection already, so I decided to use those because I was like trying to decide what mascara to wear in my mascara ranking video. It was just just like too much pressure for me so I decided I'm just going with the lashes so I've been trying a lot of new mascaras recently and I saw someone comment and say that they would like a mascara ranking video so I asked that question in a previous video if this would be helpful and I had so many comments of people saying yes I wasn't really sure about this one because I wasn't sure like a mascara isn't a release like an eyeshadow palette or even a face palette or a lip product that I was like is this going to be interesting and enough for people? But a lot of you were saying that you don't wear false lashes every day or you never wear false lashes, so you're always interested in mascaras. But that also during this time where we're wearing masks, you're really kind of like upping the game with your eye makeup looks. And even though you still don't want to go for lashes, you want a really good mascara. So I really hope that you find this one helpful. If you do, of course, it's always so great if you give this one a thumbs up or leave a comment, something to engage with the video because that always does help. And if you're not subscribed, yet you should be but to jump into the ranking at number 12 at the bottom here I have this one from Carity. this is the bold mood mascara so for this one the reason that I'm putting it at the bottom is because it just it just really doesn't do anything for the lashes it's one of those mascaras that I put it on and I'm like did I even put mascara on so that you know definitely doesn't make me a big fan of it but also it does irritate my eyes so I don't wear lashes every single day because I have very sensitive eyes eyeshadow formulas can bother me mascaras eyeliners lashes lash glue like I just have more sensitive eyes which is very sad for me as a makeup lover uh, so unfortunately this is the only mascara that I'm mentioning out of these 12 that caused that some sort of eye irritation for me this one does retail for $12 but unfortunately I just wouldn't be able to recommend it all right coming in at Number 11, I am so sad that this mascara did not work out for me because I, once I got it, I was like, yep, here we go. This is going to be great. And it let me down. This is the new one from NARS. This is their Climax Extreme Mascara. And the reason I'm saying that I'm so upset and I feel like personally, personally victimized that I don't like this mascara is because I like the regular Climax mascara, the one in the red tube. That is a favorite of mine. I've recommended it so many times. I've purchased so many of them. So when I saw that they were coming out with this one, that's just supposed to be a little bit more extreme it's just i was ready for it i was so ready for it but unfortunately with this one it's like you put it on and within an hour you're gonna have mascara transfer on your face and i was just so bummed about that because the first time i wore it it, did, it made my lashes look so pretty darker fuller longer but volume it's a beautiful mascara but it smudges immediately there's just there's just no going back from it the first time i tried it i was like i don't understand why i have so much mascara on my face so soon like did i go into a sauna with all of my makeup on and i just forgot that i had makeup on so i sat in the sauna for too long but i didn't because i don't have a sauna and i don't have anywhere to go that has a sauna so that wasn't the case it just that's just the formula so i still really recommend just the regular climax like if you don't want to go extreme just the regular Climax is really good too. I actually put that mascara in a video recently called Makeup I Love that everyone hates because again, love that mascara. I've repurchased it myself, but so many people say that it smudges on you and I'm like, no, this, this one, this one smudges on me. <laughs> 
All right, at number 10, this is another mascara that I'm super bummed didn't work for me because I have another one from the brand that I enjoy so much, but this one kind of ran into the similar problems as the NARS. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. Uh, I forgot to say that NARS one does retail for $24. This one from Charlotte retails for $29. Love the packaging on this one. I did get the scent from Charlotte. I'm so sorry, girlfriend, that I don't like it more. But the Legendary Lashes 2 from Charlotte Tilbury, highly recommend that one. Again, it's a bit of an older mascara in my collection. I've talked about it a ton. Um, I've worn it a ton. Definitely would recommend that one. This one from Charlotte, it makes the, once again, it makes the lashes look so pretty. It gives them a really, like it says, push up. It really pushes them up. It gives them a beautiful curl. It separates them while making them longer. My lashes look so good when I put on this mascara. But I mean, the NARS one will seriously start smudging on me within an hour. This is like within the two to three hour mark, I'm getting mascara um, on my like on underneath my eye, I'm getting mascara on my like eyelid. Like I'm like, what is happening here? So I am just super bummed about that. But if you want a good one from Charlotte, I'd recommend the Legendary Lashes too. But this one, even though it makes my lashes look beautiful, I just can't recommend because of that transfer. All right, the next two for sure are kind of more in that like, eh, eh type of category. That's a, that's a proper word. That's a real term, especially when it comes to ranking videos. But at number nine, I have this one from Wet n Wild. This was in collaboration with Bretman, Bretman Rock, and it's the Bad B Lift Mascara. So this one is not as new to the market, but I recently tried this one, so I thought that I would you know, be able to put my review into this video. So I have it in a full face of drugstore video that I can link up in the cards is where I was trying this one. And I've tried it a few more times now so I can include it in this ranking video. It is no longer available, but I thought it was interesting when I went looking for the price, the price that I was finding on this was $16. And I was like, is that right? Because again, it's not in stock. So I was just being able to find like blog posts that had the prices listed. And I was like, $16 for a wet and wild mascara seems pretty pricey to me. Um, you know, it's not, it's, it's not the most expensive mascara I'm going to be talking about by any means, but I feel like wet and wild is one of those brands that they keep everything so affordable. So I was really surprised to see that. This is one of those that just, I didn't really notice much. Like, you know, I, I definitely noticed more than the carity. Like I, it looked like I had mascara on, but nothing like boom, blah, blah. you know, again, proper terms. It didn't, it didn't really do anything like that for my lashes. I didn't mind the wear time on it, but I mean, I, I also want my lashes to look good at the same time. So this one, I was just kind of like, yeah. At number eight, I have this one from CoverGirl. This is their Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. Was really looking forward to trying out this mascara also because the regular Exhibitionist, it comes in the silver packaging. That is a, I didn't even like do the kiss. <laughs> that one is a really good mascara. I highly recommend that one, especially for if I'm talking like drugstore or affordable mascaras, I'm gonna keep re uh, recommending that one. But even like just in general, that's a really good mascara. So when they came out with this one, I was like, yes, let me get it on my lashes. I'm so excited. And I was like, okay, like it's decent. It is, it's decent. And you know, if I was just simply reviewing this one, I would probably have some good things to say, but because it's in a ranking video and there's so many more that I like really see a difference with and they last a really like long time on me and they only take one coat to make my lashes look beautiful. That's why this one is kind of falling in the middle of the pack because I'm like, it's it's good. I would definitely suggest, you know, checking this one out if you're looking for a more affordable mascara, but honestly, I would just recommend the Exhibitionist way more. So this one retails for about $7, depending on what retailer you're looking at, and I thought it was decent. All right, so at number six, so I kind of have like this top six, bottom six, and this one is like, I'd probably put it more towards the towards towards the top if you will i think that is pretty good this is from anastasia beverly hills and this is the lash brag mascara this one retails for 25 dollars. i really do like the coloring on it i also do like it because it has a little bit of weight to it there's a few mascaras coming up that kind of have just that more like luxe feeling to them which you know i can appreciate and this one you have more of the hourglass wand on it and it's good the the reason why i'm kind of putting it towards the bottom is because it's more of a wet formula and i can notice it starting to 
to transfer a little bit quicker but also if I'm not careful when applying it it can you know get on my eyelids or I can like get some on the on the what, what am I always like struggling when I'm like trying to think like under my eye area <laughs> that I can start to get some mascara transfer there if I'm not careful with it just because it is a little bit more of a wet formula but again it it makes my lashes look nice um but it's not anything once again when it comes to the ranking that I'm like this is like a top top favorite of mine but it's still pretty good I know there's minis of it too so I'd probably recommend the mini first to try it out and see if you like it um but yeah this is this is a pretty good one also all right moving more into my top six so at number six I was kind of going back and forth between this one and the one from ABH but this one is from Huda Beauty and this is the Legit Lashes Mascara. This one does retail for $27 so it's $2 more than the ABH but you do get two different sides to it which that's kind of it kind of helped me put it above the ABH for that. So you have the volume side and then you also have the length and curl side. I actually really like the length and curl side. This is what I go into the most. I'm really good at like once again like kind of like the charlotte tilbury mascara it does a really good job of pushing up the lashes and giving them that beautiful curl but then you can come in with the volume side and just add a little bit more va va voom to it or you can just use the volume side if you want it to i believe the actual formula in here is the same it's just the actual wands that are different so i like that you get the two different options or you can kind of mix and match if you want to it has a good wear time it's not going to smudge or transfer on me too quickly like towards the end of the night i can start to notice a little bit of like something going on but yeah i felt like this one was pretty good also all right at number five we have the most expensive mascara i'm going to be talking about and of course it's going to one of my girlfriends let's guess which one it is Pat McGrath. Ah oh, yes, Pat, you outdid yourself in the mascara ranking video. So this is the Dark Star Mascara. So a new one here from Pat McGrath. So I like the gold packaging. Again, this one has a little bit more of a weightier feel to it. I would say that ABH is, is even more, but you know, once again, I, I like that because it's an expensive mascara. This is one that it is really pretty. I reviewed this one recently in my makeup monthly and I put it in my fine section. And I think at a, nor at a normal time, I would have put it into my favorites, but I've been working on this mascara ranking video and keeping track of everything and kind of like writing down my pros and cons. So I feel like because that was in my head, that's why I decided to put it into the fine category because I was like putting it up against some of the mascaras I've been trying out that I really, really enjoy. It's harder for me to say it was a favorite, but it is a really good mascara. It's just, it does a lot for the lashes. Fuller, darker, bigger, longer, all of the good things. It does have a good wear time to it too. It's gonna last for several hours before I start to notice like a dot or two on my lower lashes, on my, under my eye. Seriously, why I can't say that, I don't know. But it does have a really good wear time to it, so I would recommend this. Now, it is really expensive though. I haven't seen a mini being offered in this. And again, I'm ranking it at number five. I have some other ones that I'm going to like more, but if you really enjoy high-end or more luxury products or you just love Pat McGrath and would wanna try it out, I mean, I do think it's a good one. Coming in at number four. This was one that I really wasn't expecting to enjoy so much. And also when I first tried it, I was like, okay, like I think it's probably gonna be pretty good, but I'm not really sure. But I actually have ended up being really impressed with it. When I finally like, I pulled out all my mascaras and I was like looking at them and kind of dividing them up. I kept pushing this one back towards the top and I was like, really Samantha? Like you really, like really? But yeah, I do, I like this is what I think. This is from Urban Decay. This is the Lash Freak Mascara. Again, not expecting to enjoy it so much. Now it does have pros and cons to it. So uh, this one does retail for $25. This definitely has the most interesting wand out of all of the mascaras that I am talking about. But you know, the very fun, uh, like more neon packaging. This though makes my lashes look so freaking long. This is one that when I wear this mascara, I can't stop looking at my lashes. I'm like, girl, your lashes are looking good and I don't have good looking lashes. Let me tell you, mascara or no, like I just don't really have really beautiful lashes and that's fine. It's just something I've had to work on since childhood. Oh, but it makes the lashes so long and separated. And this is almost one that I feel like, I don't want to say that it could look like I'm wearing false lashes, but it'd be like, Hey girl, are you like using a lash serum or something? That's what happens when I wear this mascara. And I appreciate that wear time also really, really nice. The con though, the con can be a doozy. So let me explain myself here because it took me a couple tries to figure out 
how to best use this because if you are not careful this again is going to be a, a very wet formula if you are not careful you're going to get it everywhere you really have to be careful when you apply this mascara but if you are up for the challenge and if you are up for the risk the payoff is going to be really really good but if you are not careful or if you sneeze or if you get distracted and your hand moves it's game over you have just fallen into the water after getting knocked by a big pole hopefully you have a helmet on and a life jacket so that definitely is a con so even though like i feel like i should have put this lower but again when i was looking at everything i kept pushing it towards the top because i i'm willing to take that risk because i want my lashes to look so beautiful there's been times where i've been looking through my camera roll at like photos that i've taken after i do my makeup and i'm taking my fancy photos and everything and i'll stop on the photos where i'm wearing this mascara because i'm like dang girl your lashes are looking so good it's just it's it's just crazy it's just craziness so i actually really do like this mascara i just want to be very clear in saying that there is a definite con to it but for me personally the the pros outweigh the cons so maybe when you first get it like like try it out to see for yourself how how it works but, like before you're actually going somewhere <laughs> All right, coming in at number three, this is a mascara that I really didn't see coming, that I was going to enjoy it so much. It is my uh, top most affordable mascara that I'm going to be recommending. That is from Essence, and this is the Bye Bye Panda Eyes. Hysterical name, first of all. I'll just go ahead and say that. This one only, this one retails for only $5, now that it only retails. I'm surprised for a lot of different reasons because I know so many people love the essence mascaras and they rave about the essence mascaras and i've tried them and i've been like i just didn't really see it i just i wasn't really not that i like absolutely dislike them but i'm like i they're like okay essence did send these over to me and i was like you know yeah like sure like let's give it a try let's do it first of all first of all it looks really good when you put these on your lashes like and you're I feel like I'm using the same terminology but it's like I'm talking about mascara and lashes like how many different words can I make up here okay but my lashes look separated they look longer but they almost look like the word I want to use is like fluffier like they just they just look they just look nice now I I will say that there are other mascaras like the Lash Freak, even the Lash Brag, the Pat McGrath, that I do feel like offers more of an oomph, right, to my lashes. I want to be clear when I say that. Those are going to, if you want more dramatic lashes, more like va va boom type of lashes, I would go with even the Huda, the, the mascaras that I just previously recommended. But if you want something that still looks nice, it's going to look like you're wearing mascara, but does not move for this one of the first times that i was trying this out i actually went boating i was on the water i was sweating i was i was in the water but not submerged like i didn't have my head submerged like i was on one of those like lily pad type of things so i wasn't like in the but there was like splashing going on again it was like it was sweating we were like in the boat in the wind i was like i am gonna look cray cray because normally i don't wear mascara going out into the water i just didn't know that that's that was the plan i got ready too early it was like a whole thing and i was like oh boy and i remember turning to mitch at one point and being like do i look crazy and he was like no i was like maybe he just can't see the mascara i'm not really sure what's going on here and then when i was able to look at myself in the mirror i was like it did not move again if you want something that's more drama more about blah, blah, boom there's going to be other mascaras that are going to be better for you but it's still a really good mascara and i'm just so impressed that it's not going to move okay number one and number two were so hard for me to decide how I was going to order them, but I did it, but I did it. So at number two, I have from Marc Jacobs, I have a little mini here, but this is the At Lash Mascara. So this is a newer release from Marc Jacobs. The full size does retail for $27. This is a, this is a good mascara. This is a good, good, I mean, it, it, one or two, like you're not going to go wrong with them. This is going to do all the beautiful things that I've already mentioned that it's going to do for your lashes, fuller and thicker and just more lovely. Well, the thing that really sticks out to me about the Marc Jacobs is that it is a one coat mascara. That is all you need. And I mean, I almost always will do two coats. Sometimes I will do three coats. Sometimes I'll do four or five coats. Like I, cause like I said, I love how false lashes look. So I like want to get that with my mascaras, but then it's like I do too many coats and then like weird things starts going on. You truly only need one coat with this mascara. But this is a mascara that also is not going to move. It's not going to move. It's not going to smudge on you. It's not going to flake. It is mm, 
it is so beautiful. I have worn it in the heat and the humidity of Iowa. And if you live in the Midwest, you know what the humidity is like. It's worse than the heat and it holds up so well. Highly would recommend this one. I think it's fantastic. Definitely a favorite of mine. But at number one, and again, this was hard, but at number one, I'm going with it. It is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. This one retails for $29, so it's $2 higher than the Marc Jacobs. So again, I was like going back and forth, but I really, I really, really, really like this one from Hourglass because it kind of just hits all of the things that I've been mentioning. I like the packaging has more of that weightier feel. Wand is like very skinny. The bristles are very thin. It's gonna get right up under there. But not only does it like push the lashes up and give them a curl, it just makes them, it just makes them look better. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Urban Decay Lash Reek with like how long it makes my lashes, how separated it makes them. Once again, the wear time on this is phenomenal. Like when I reviewed this in a follow-up video, I said, you know, maybe after like 10 hours, 10 plus hours, I could get like a dot, like a dot on my under eyes, but really it's, it's not going to move. It's not going to move. It's such a beautiful mascara. I also love the caution. So this was one that I had high hopes for. And I feel like out of the other mascaras I've mentioned, I've tried other ones from the brand and been so impressed. And then I've tried these ones and been like, eh, maybe not. But this is one where it's like between the caution and unlocked, it's, oh, that's hot. That's, I don't know. I don't, I'm not prepared to answer that question. I didn't think of that sooner, so I'm not prepared to answer that question. I don't want to be held responsible for what I would have to say, just filming in the heat of the moment. That one would be hard for me to say, but I would honestly recommend both of them. But the, this one is their newer one, the Unlocked Instant Extensions Mascara. It's beautiful. Highly recommend it. I don't think you'll go wrong. I just, it's fantastic. So after that, that is it for the mascara ranking video, ranking these 12 new or new to me mascaras. I really hope that you found this one helpful. Let me know what you think. If you want to see some more ranking videos, definitely let me know. I hope that you liked this one. If you did, again, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video. Bye.